Following on from my tassel earrings and my fringe necklace, in fact it's the fringe necklace now, um, I'll show you how to make this little sort of fun fiesta bag charm. It's a little um, lucky charm really. So you will have made in the uh, fringe necklace, you will have made that uh, fan ta uh, fringe. So that will be already uh, following my previous tutorial. So once you've got that, you just secure it round one of the wires around the other and I usually create a little spiral there and that just gives an extra little bit of detail. So you just need to follow uh, the tassel earrings and the fringe necklace to get to this point. So you'll need both those other tutorials um, uh, to be able to make this piece here. So I'm just rolling up that wire just to add a little extra detail on my stamped little metal unit at the top. Now to make the body of the bag charm, you just use one larger bead, which will be the body bead, you know, so whatever you've got to hand, I've got a bit of turquoise there, um, any bead will do, and this is now the arms of the little charm. So find the center of the piece of wire, this is zero point, um, Eight, but you can use 0 0.6 if you're using small beads to thread and create a circle right at the center so I've folded it around the center of my round nose pliers and I'm straightening out the wires and there I've got a, a little center loop so create that center right at the, the middle of your your wire and I'm going to now create the sort of the shoulders of the arm so just hold it with your chain nose pliers and bend it round and really the gap you leave on each side of that circle is really dependent on the bead that you're using for the body bead so if it's a larger bead you'll you'll have to meet, leave more space and now I'm just using a mandrel to wrap the wire around on each side so that curves the wires around to create where the hands are going to meet um, at the center of the little mascot. So I've decided to use some seed beads to thread onto these wires on each side, so that's for the arms. And um, so you just use the ends of the wire to pick up the beads just like you would with a needle and just collect as many beads as you need that will fill one side of, the, uh, of one arm. And of course you don't have to uh, put any beads on, you can just leave it as wire and if you do leave it as plain wire like I have done on the first one I just hammered them a bit so that it was tougher and the wire was a bit spread out um, so now I'm going to use two different color beads to match in with my body bead just to create where the hands would be so that's the stopper bead really and to finish off the wire on one side I'm going to just create a little loop which I suppose I will call the hand. <laughs> um, so wrap the wire around to secure that end so the beads don't fall off. So you just wrap it around, leaving a little loop at the end. It doesn't have to be a perfect loop, it's more, it's where the hand bead is. So cut that off, any extra or excess, and use your chain nose pliers to neaten any end that's sticking out make sure that uh, um, always with the ends of wire you never want them sticking out because they will attach or hook onto anything so now you do the other side exactly as the same so if you say had 16 beads um, on one side you will count another 16 on the other so I'm just picking up the beads for the other arm and when it comes to roughly the same amount as the first one. I'm going to then go for my extra colour bead to highlight the end. So I'm just coming up to it now. There we go. Now to attach the hands together I'm going to post the end of that wire into the little loop that I made and then I'm going to create another loop out of this one so that the hands are 
the two little wire loops are like the two hands um, holding each other. So they're held there in place. And then again, give it a little wrap. So get the end of the wire and wrap around to make sure it's secure. And then you can cut off the excess and use the tips just to neaten any ends. And there you can see the two wires are linked together. You can put it back onto your mandrel just to, if it's misshaped while you're, you're threading it and making it, and you can see those are the two hands. Now that little circle right in the middle, just make sure that it's sitting at 90 degrees, at right angles, to the rest of that unit, because that is going to be threaded now onto the top of the wire, so it sits on top of the body bead and it will come together just at the top of the, the fiesta skirt, the dancing skirt. And now you need a head bead, so whatever bead you can find to put for the top um, for the head. And if you want to add another bead for a little hat uh, or a sequin for a hat, anything you want, you, this is where you can just make it as creative as you want. And I'm just going to make a top link now, so it's a wrap loop, and I'm going to feed that onto the keyring charm, or it could be, you know, anything you want to hang it off, really. But this is my keyring charm, which I can hang on to the side of a bag. And then use that excess wire to wrap and secure that link. And then again, cut off any excess. Or you could make a spiral. You know I love making spirals, but this time I'm just going to make it as simple as possible so that you can then use your imagination to make it your own. So if it's if the, the wires have all got a bit messed up as you're making it, just use the comb again and make sure there's no tangles. And it's as simple as that. You've got a little dancing uh, lucky mascot with a fringe fiesta skirt ready to go on a bag or as a charm. Um, lovely little gift for a friend.